Good morning, everyone. My name is Alicia Jennings Olasuga. My name is Alex Sivar. My name is Nishe Prout. My name is Stephen Chukra. My name is Rachel Pyfram. My name is Khadija Tumbu. My name is Jed Paula Del Toro. My name is Kalanji Bullock. And we are Banneker Incorporated, better known as... Pink! <laughs> We're doing the challenge presented by Joanne Tan. And this is to address the problem of poverty in our community. Banneker is a magnet Title I high school is our home base, and over 60% of a school student population receive free or reduced lunch. And we want to make the necessities of life, like food, stuff like that, more economically accessible to them. Our vision is to virtually make daily essentials such as food, toiletries, clothes, or merchandise. Poverty is a serious issue within our Banneker community. Over 60% of Banneker students are impoverished. With our website, communities can gain access to a plethora of uh, resources and supplies to help further their success. <laughs> so our solution is Banneker Incorporated. It's a nonprofit dedicated to our community. Our plan is building a website to reach students all across the DC area. As Banneker is a magnet high school, therefore we can reach places like Anacostia, we can reach Benning Road, we can reach Columbia Heights, we can reach all across the city. And, okay. Impact. In our school, Supplies such as books, pencils, simple anything really can create the difference between a student and a success. There is no reason why a student's socioeconomic class should restrict them from achieving their academic aspirations. This is why we believe that our website could create this advantage to our students. Instead of having them think about what they're going to eat or how they're going to pay for their lunch or their supplies, they can focus on their studies, they can focus on their academic aspirations, and they can focus on going into college. As Alex stated, Banneker is only the start. By involving local organizations around our school and local food chains and stores, we can reach beyond our school itself. Also, improving, improving financial situations is something that penetrates homes and communities and affects lives in a way similar to a domino effect. Banneker is only the first domino that will affect people and lives over a long period of time. So in order to receive public input, what we did was we created a survey and we gave out 100 anonymous surveys to collect data and collect information from our student population. Because me personally, I really don't like to judge people by what they do have or what they don't have. I feel like it's everybody deserves the same opportunities and everybody should have the same necessities to be successful as anybody else in any other school. So with our survey, we asked questions such as what, uh, what kinds of instances of poverty have you experienced in your school or through your community service? We know Banneker has a lot of community service, 270 hours. And we, know that through, and we know that through community service, our peers and our other scholars would be able to interact with other organizations or supervisors and actually find out how could they uh, affect the community. So our solution is the website. This website will offer weekly deals from um, nearby shops, um, also chain stores as we begin our outreach. Um, and we, we also have begun connecting with uh, merchandise companies through which the businesses that our parents own um, interact with. So we already have a solution set for us, um, a foundation, I mean. And what we hope to do is um, sell merchandise, you know, on a reduced uh, price that the students identified as their greatest needs. And um, I know that even amongst ourselves, we've mentioned... Um, maybe starting a scholarship with the money that we gain, with the profit that we gain, and that m the money we earn will continue to fund this business, along with the website, which will offer weekly deals from maybe special deals that organizations gave us or, you know, just coupons that they have in general. So overall, we hope that um, this website, we chose a virtual approach so that we would not be limited to our school community, since Banneker itself is not limited to one, um, one neighborhood. So in conclusion, we think that it's best that we all think big. Think smart. Think, think big.
Really good, Benjamin Benneker. Any questions? Ms. Rawls. So can you explain how you're going to promote the website? Thank you. Thank you for asking. I didn't get to say it, but we, yes, it's on the screen now. Follow us, please, because we really need <laughs> your ideas. Because in maybe next year, hopefully, this will affect you. We want you to have the things that you need. We definitely plan to, I know um, four of us are seniors, but I totally trust the two juniors and the sophomores. I love them to death now. Um, so they're going to keep this going. I really hope that Banneker keeps this up after we graduate. Um, and, and not only that, but uh, with this project, it really taught me a lot about interactive, but not, not only with the community, but about the student body. Me, I'm personally more of a reserved person, so you won't see me interacting with freshmen, sophomores, or juniors. But this, <laughs> but this project actually made me step out of my comfort zone and interact with the student body and actually gain their perspectives, and it was really nice. So, I have a question. Any other questions here? I have a question for you. How did you work together as a team since there are so many seniors and not quite as many underclassmen? Well, I know I'm one of the seniors on the team. And I know for me it was very interesting meeting a lot of the underclassmen that I met. And one thing that we noticed on our team was that a lot of us have different personalities. We brought every, each and every one of us brought something different to the team. We learned something different about someone. We were always in our meetings and we're meeting about the project. There will always be someone that's like, "Oh my gosh, how'd you think of that idea? Or how'd you think of that? Or where'd you get that from?" So it was nice. It was, you know, it's different working in a team because you don't have to just depend on yourself or your own ideas. You're able to tie together and bring everything together, and it turns out great. Um, it was definitely exciting for me because I myself, I'm, I didn't, I'm not intentionally reserved, but I realized after interacting with um, Kalanji, Judd, and Nishe that I need to get to know more underclassmen. And a lot of times I, I let them take the lead because, I mean, I'm not that much older than them. I mean, I don't know. I'm the, I'm the junior's age. Um, but they had great ideas. And I honestly, we didn't really have a team leader because we're all natural leaders. And each of us, you know, brought a different aspect of a characteristic that really helped us, like, create this idea. Uh, and not only that, Banneker's senior class is the smallest senior class, so the juniors, the sophomores, and the freshmen have the bigger population, so we decided it was best to reach out to them, and we felt that within this group, we had so many profound ideas because everybody was really inspirational and everybody was really creative, but we found common ground and we were able to tie in our ideas together to make it all a big success. Te Great. Technology, technology access is often an issue for people living in poverty. How do you plan on addressing that, that particular gap to get that kind of access? We got 10 seconds. <laughs> so with, with technology, technological access, we are hoping to branch to communities around our school because there are a lot of um, T-Mobiles and Sprint stores around us. So hopefully we might be able to get a deal with them to reduce the, uh, the prices of their products to help our students and the students around the city, hopefully around the country. Really good, Benjamin Banneker. Really, really good. <laughs>